Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about one of uh, my most asked questions about using our UV epoxy. Uh, this is when you get bubbles while the epoxy is curing under the UV light. Well, what happens is if you use an air dry glue, the glue dries from the outside in, and when this happens, once a little bit of the glue dries, the center of the glue uh, is left liquid, and because it's cut off from air, it will never dry. Uh, or at least it won't dry for a very, very, very long time, months or years even. As shown in this example, this is a cutaway image of our bezel, which is shown in black, with our picture or image shown in orange, dried glue shown in the blue, and undried glue shown in the light blue. As you can see here, when you when the glue dries around the edges, it creates an air block so that the glue in the middle will never dry. It's just like putting the lid on the glue container. And uh, so that causes a problem. And we're going to move on to the next slide now. Okay, now as we can see in this uh, clip, we've applied our UV epoxy as shown in green. Uh, when we do this, of course we fill up the bezel and you can see it's got a slight dome to it. Uh, now I'll show you the next clip. Now in this uh, picture you'll see that the orange picture is flexing down. This is while the epoxy is curing. What happens is, is the epoxy expands a little bit. This puts pressure on the uncured glue and when that happens it can cause air to leak out around the sides as we'll see in our next image. Now in this image you can see uh, the pressure causes slight cracks in the dried glue that uh, leaves channels open from the liquid glue up to the epoxy. These are the channels from which air will be squeezed out and cause bubbles into the epoxy, which you'll see in the next image. In this image, you can see the air traveling out from underneath and traveling into the epoxy. This causes foamy-like bubbles around the edge of the image. Again, this is caused because air-dried glues cannot be used, otherwise uh, they will never fully harden. So what's the best way to cure this problem? Uh, the best way is to use a non-air dry glue, and that is a two-part glue, uh, such as a five-minute epoxy that you can get at any hardware or craft store, uh, five or 15-minute epoxy. Uh, of course, you should get it in clear if you can, just so that any of it that seeps out around the edge won't show. Another way, of course, to do this would be to provide a seal on top of the image that is all the way to the edge of the bezel. To do this, you're going to have to make sure that there's a, a large bead all the way around uh, touching the image and the bezel. This will prevent air from coming out. But if there's even a slight pinhole, air will push its way through and cause bubbles. Uh, one of the th best things to use for this is either our ink seal product or Weld Bond, which you can find at a lot of different hardware stores and craft shops. Uh, I suggest several layers of it just to be sure that there is a, a nice bead around the edge. When it's dried and you put the epoxy on it, the glue or the, the weld bond or the ink seal will be invisible so you can't see them at all. In conclusion, uh, air dried glues are the cause of almost all foamy like bubbles around the edges of an image after it's cured. In other words, while it's in the UV light oven, these bubbles will form. And because uh, normally, if the if you've gotten rid of all of the bubbles in the surface of the epoxy with the mini torch before you put it in the UV light, there shouldn't be any bubbles in the product afterwards. If there are, they've been introduced by the substrate, either the glue or or whatever you're using underneath it. Thank you very much. This has been Terry from epoxyjewelry.com.